nde wo greetings and happy new year ekene afo ho if you're new to my channel my name is Yvonne Choma Mbanefu um your language guide and a cultural consultant and um in this video i'm going to talk about how to learn igbo language in 2022 um like i've said before in previous videos there's no magic bullet to learning a language it's just by steady consistent effort so but um what i'm going to talk about today i'm just going to make it as brief as possible and then break it down to three um headings and that is one to learn um phrases or sentences in Igbo. and by learning phrases and sentences you go from words learning words and then putting them together as phrases and then making sentences and this is where all the sources you need um comes in like um youtube videos um books or even a teacher giving you notes um there's no magic about it you just get information and then actually go through the information so the first one is collect um collecting material getting words phrases and then sentences and then the second um way of learning Igbo is um actually practicing it so um for all the materials you collect or all the materials you consume if you're not practicing you're basically wasting your time for example if you come to my channel and you watch my videos every day and you don't actually open up your mouth to practice what um what i've said you're you're basically not doing anything um it's just like learning how to drive um no matter how many books you read and how many um lessons you go to if you don't get behind the wheel and drive um you won't learn how to drive so you actually need to go out there and practice same with someone that wants to um bulk up and get a six pack you can't get a six pack by reading up books and even um drinking um protein shakes you have to actually exercise and you know do the work and so you need to practice so as you're consuming the content you need to practice um you can also um you know listen to podcasts and listen to people um talking um there's a huge number of material on youtube for example um you can also use google um translate it's not always accurate but you can use google translate to at least form sentences and um don't be afraid to make mistakes because um everybody makes mistakes i still make mistakes when speaking igbo sometimes um we make mistakes when we're speaking in english sometimes so um don't be um you know don't get hung up on making mistakes just continue going um and learning as you go along because that's how children that's why sometimes people think children learn languages faster because um it's because they're not hung up on mistakes they make mistakes you correct them they continue and that's the way to do it um i don't always um advise people to learn grammar when they're still beginners um unless you're already comfortable you will know when you need to use grammar but you there are people who are book experts on grammar they've studied everything about grammar and they know which one is ngwana baloku and nocheha and mbuzo but tell them to make one simple sentence in igbo and they can't and that's because they're not practicing and now the third one is to actually use the language so you get the the first one is to get the material second one is to practice we've just talked about practicing and the third one is to use it and when i mean use it i mean looking for another human being to interact with 
and speak. So you actually need to speak. Um, this is actually the best time to learn a language because you can get on social media, find a friend and then hook up via either on Zoom or on WhatsApp um, video or audio or even FaceTime and then <clears throat> practice with them. Or you can tell, <clears throat> excuse me, members of your family to help you. Although sometimes members of, of your family can laugh at you, but um, I mean, you can you just um, tell them, you know, that the laughter is affecting you. And so um, what else can I tell you that would help you in learning with this 2022? Um, make use of your phone. Make use of your phone. Your phone is a big help because you can record yourself saying things and then listen. And then when you listen, you know when you're saying it right and when you're saying it wrong. And so again, to recap, you need to learn phrases, learn sentences, learn words. And that's where the materials you're learning with come in handy. And then you practice, you practice on your own, practice in front of a mirror, and practice by recording yourself on your phone on your on your computer and then you find someone to actually interact with because it's the interaction that um, helps sometimes we're not opportune to have um, someone to interact with and that's where um, language communities come in handy um, like I just talked about the phone where you can record yourself or you can even use um, WhatsApp or text messaging to practice your writing because there are some people who are fluent in speaking Igbo, but they're not very fluent in writing Igbo. And we all know that the measure of fluency is when you, you read, when you can read, when you can write, when you can listen in a language, and then when you can speak. Um, you can also use flashcards. Flashcards come in very handy. And um, you can buy index cards in the shops. I have in an index card here. Um, yeah. So in an index card like this with um, a ring holding all the cards together. So an index card, index cards come in handy because with index cards you can um jot down notes you can jot down notes um because i've made i don't know if you can see it here yeah so you can you can use this um as a flash card make notes of um words or sentences um that you know you'll be using over and over again and um write down or, or words or sentences of things that are common to you things that you're interested in if you're not interested in um crochet why would you go and learn how to talk about crochet in Igbo? so it makes sense that if you work in a hospital um you learn words that have to do with the hospital or what you do um if you if you live in a house and everybody lives in a house you take note of everything in the house from um, a cup, um, bottle of water, you put it down um, as you're going to walk. Um, just take note of every little thing that you you you, you find on the road, the, the street signs, the car, a bag, earring, head tie, head scarf, um, microphone, books anything you can you can think of but you and things that you see every day or things you talk about every day try and find out what they mean in Igbo and then learn how to say them learn how to make sentences with them and then you do it over and over again and before you know it it becomes second nature to you um i hear people that say oh um how can you um learn how can i be fluent in Igbo in one year Mm, I don't think that is realistic. You can have a level of fluency, but you can't go from zero to hundred in one year. It's um 
I mean, I'm in my late forties and I'm still learning Igbo words, still learning English words. So it's a lifelong thing. So that also means you also, before you start again, you, you go back and think why you're learning Igbo language. Are you learning it because you're of Igbo descent? Um, and you want to, um, dis rediscover your heritage or are you learning it because you, you have, um, an Igbo spouse and you want to understand what your in-laws are saying about you or you want your children to learn. So you need to, um, f make a concrete, um, effort to find out why you want to learn Igbo. And if you want to, if you decide, if you find out how, why you want to learn Igbo, you also need to decide how much time you're going to put to it. And consistency matters. It really, really matters. I know that sometimes things might get difficult, life might happen and you, and you um, kind of um, drop off. And that's what happens every January. People make um, new year resolutions and by february they've dropped off and that is where accountability comes in and um this is where i have to plug my own um, community um which i've just reopened again because we've been going for a couple of years now um where every day we get a mater um, learning material um we practice we upload what we've practiced and then um, once a week we come together on zoom and then we practice our Igbo and um, it works but if you want to find out more you can find out more at learnibonow.com um, now question for today why do you want to learn Igbo language and what are you going to do this year to improve your Igbo language learning let me know on the comments below and um, if you're intrigued by um, our method of learning Igbo with um, stories and songs and proverbs and all sorts of um, and, and dialogues um, then come join us in the um, learn Igbo noun challenge group um more information on the learnable learnable ch um, website um that's it for now call messiah and i wish you all a brilliant 2022 bye